my name is Mrs. Nita with Heroes Mart Homeschool Academy. In today's lesson, we're going to do a review of the solid shapes we've talked about in this unit so far. The rectangular prism, pyramid, triangular prism, and the hexagonal prism. Are you ready for today's lesson? I am too. Let's begin with the word of prayer. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts, and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal, not to our lesson we shall go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, if you have your Godly Learners Great K Mathematics Workbook, you can pull that out at this time and turn to page number, Roman number four, where we're going to recite our morality creed together. Are you ready? Here we go. I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe in Jesus Christ. The Messiah who died, the Messiah who died, and was resurrected from the dead to save humanity from sins. He is my Lord, Master, Boss, and Savior. I love God. I love myself and others with the God kind of love. I believe the Bible is inspired by the Spirit of God and is the basis for morality, rights, and wrongs. I look to the Spirit of God to understand God's intent behind every letter of the Bible. I abide by this intent and I live to honor God in thought, in word, and in deed. I believe there is a heaven to gain and a hell to shun. Father, please give me grace and mercy to please you more. This is my morality creed. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Well, welcome aboard. I'm so glad to have you here with me. We recite that creed at the beginning of every mathematics lecture video because we believe that by doing so, you, if you're not already, can be born again, understand God's standard, and live up to that. If you're already born again, you can just reenact and recommit yourself to the Lord, which is very good to do as well. We are currently on page 165 because we're in week 32, day five. And um, if you're already on page 165, you are exactly where you belong. We are doing a brief review of the four 3D geometrical shapes we've talked about in this unit. This is unit four. And so far we've talked about the rectangular prism and we've looked at the net to the rectangular prism, and we compared this to the cube, to that of the cube. If you've been with us so far, you know what I mean by that. And we talked about the number of faces on the rectangular prism, which is six. We talked about the number of um, angles in the rectangular prism, which is 12, 12 edges rather, and the number of corners is eight. So you can actually count to verify this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So 12 edges and eight corners. The corners are where the two edges meet. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight corners. And that is the rectangular prism. We've also talked um, next about the prism, the rather pyramid and um, the pyramid here is the solid figure. We created this figure by, if it doesn't want to run away from me, we created this prism, this pyramid by using our net. You remember we put a crease along all the lines there, all the edges, and then we brought them all in. The pyramid has five shapes, five sides, one, two, three, four, five, and it has how many edges? Do you remember how many edges it has? Yes, it has eight edges and you can verify. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight edges on the pyramid. And there are five corners, do you remember? When you bring all of the flaps together, you can count the base, one, two, three, four. There are four corners there. Remember, a corner is where the two lines meet. One, two, three, four, and there's one here at the top. That would be a corner as well. So the pyramid has those properties. And next we talked about the triangular prism. 
The triangular prism is, this is the net, this is the actual solid figure. It has five faces, one, two, three, four, five, and it has three rectangular faces, three triangular sides, which is why it's called a triangular prism. And when you bend, when you fold all of the, and create the creases, bring them all in, you can create your own solid figure, your own triangular prism by doing that. It um, has how many faces? It has nine edges, so you can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It has nine edges, and it has six corners, and it's probably best to count the corners with the solid um, shape because um, it's just easier. So you can see one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six corners here. Nine edges, six corners, and five faces. That is the triangular prism. And the hexagonal prism is this little guy we see here. It has eight full faces, and here's the net. You can compare, compare these two. There are eight faces. Eight is the greater number, so you can go straight to eight to confirm the, great, the number of faces. And the number of edges, you can count the edges by just starting with from this dot all the way down, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, yay, we did it. We didn't count the edges on the hexagon because this particular face is going to come in and create the cap for our prism. It's called a hexagonal prism because it has the faces of a hexagon. It has two hexagonal faces. The base is hexagon. The top is hexagonal as well. When you fold these in and put the cap at the top and you uh, use some really good tape or glue, you can create your own solid figure. The number of corners uh, is 12 and you can count that easily. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Remember a corner is where the two edges meet. So take two of any two of any edges. Here's an edge, there's an edge. When you bring them together, they form that tip we call a corner. Hexagonal prism. And so you have rectangular prism. You have pyramid. Oh, <laughs> there's nothing inside, so they're very, Let's see if we can do this. Okay, great. So rectangular prism, pyramid, triangular prism, and hexagonal prism. So all four that we've talked about in this unit are here. And I think that concludes our lesson for today. Yes, it does. So that should help you to uh, complete your, your assignment today in your workbook. Thank you so much for coming by. And until next time. God bless. I'll be your hero's body And as you study With heroes born I will be your friend So don't you